everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. So today's video is going to be the unboxing of the Bookish Box Adult Box for August 2022. I know that was a lot, but I believe I have both of the August books, August boxes now, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox those for you. They're a little behind, so hopefully I can get these up for you soon. They were a little bit behind, but you know, we got them now, and this is the adult box, so let's just get into it and see what we got. The first thing I see is the next installment in their Literary Wonderlust Candle Collection, and this one is Outlander Standing Stones. I have never read nor watched Outlander, so I don't know about this literary location, but I'm sure it smells amazing. Visit Cranadun. Is it Cranadun? I guess that's how you say Standing Stones in Scottish? Oh, and the label was designed by Sylvian Design Co. And it looks like this. Smell this puppy. Oh yeah, very green, cologne-y. Mm, I love scents like this. So good. The next thing I see is this. I thought it was an enamel pin, but it's an enamel magnet, which is also super cool. It is inspired by the plated prisoner and it says, I'll be the villain for you. So let me just go ahead and get this out. And the artwork is by Natalie Bernard Art. I was really confused when I thought this was an enamel pin because it was sliding around. I was like, pins shouldn't do that. It is a magnet, but it's really cool. I love that quote. I am trying to get into The Play Dead Prisoner. I just haven't started reading it yet, but I do like that quote. So it might intrigue me to get it going faster. That's cute. I like that. The next thing I see is whatever this box is. It's got some fire, a sword, mountains, a hawk, potentially... Is this like Sarah J Mass or Throne of Glass or something? Let's find out. Okay, so this is actually really cool. It is a glass water bottle and it has the same designs on it. The fire, the mountains, the hawk, the sword. But then on the side it says to whatever and Fireheart, which is from Throne of Glass, I believe. It's got this little metal lid. You twist it on this water bottle. This is cute. I do like glass water bottles. I'm a fan of this. Even if it is Throne of Glass and I, I don't get it yet. Although my friend told me, I've read the third, I've read up until the third book, and my friend told me that I need to read the fourth book because that's really when things ramp up and then I might like it, so I'm gonna finish the series, but who knows when. Ah, but I know she wants me to read the fourth book, so I will eventually. Oh, and I don't know if I said it, but the theme for the adult August bookish box is book daddies, <laughs> which is silly and funny. The next thing I see is this, which is a... From what the little pamphlet says is a prism sticker. And it says, I would steal the stars from the sky for you. Oh, a strange hymn by Laura Thalassa. Look at that, I just finished that. But that is a really cool sticker. That's fun. I like that. Then the last thing I see before the book is just the little uh, theme for the adult September box, which is Wicked Entanglements and has this really cool print. And the sneak peek on the back for September says, we are extremely excited to share that our September adult Wicked Entang Entanglements themed box will include a metal bookmark designed by No One Designs. This metal bookmark includes a lovely quote from River of Shadows by Karina Hale. Not only will it have the quote, it also has floral details and a skull to get you ready for the spooky season that is right around the corner, which is cute. Hopefully they send it before Halloween, but cute. All right, and now for the book. Let's just see what it is. Oh, I've been seeing this book everywhere and I didn't know what it's from. So it is Untainted by Lillian T. James. I have no idea what this is, but the cover's really pretty. I like that the flowers are all in like black gray scale and then the swords are kind of this like holographic thing. And that's pretty cool. Spine and the back says fear is a flame. Cool, cool, cool. Really pretty intricate floral design on the sprayed edges. I like that. Ooh, this book is really pretty. The reverse side of the dust jacket is also super cool. And it says Untainted, the Crystal Island series, okay? You could never be invisible, little star. You burn too bright. Cute. But the naked hardcover is actually stunning. It's like the same kind of floral pattern with swords but then every so often you can see it here there's like these holographic flowers super cute and pretty it has the title on the spine 
And then on the back, it has a little bit of a quote in the holographic foiling. It says, fear is a flame. It cannot be extinguished by will alone. You can let it burn you alive or you can do something with it, alter it, bend it to your will, forge it into a weapon. Cool. This book is so pretty. And then we have some illustrated end pages on both sides. And it is, of course, signed by the author. This is really cute. I like this a lot. Now let me just find out what it's about. Because I have never heard of this book other than like seeing it randomly. I have no idea what this book is about. So let's see. So essentially what I'm gathering is that the main female character is good at two things, pretending to be human and wielding a blade. And she's kind of forced to hide what she can do. So there may be some like magical powers behind how she can wield a sword. But when she finds this strange man tailing the crown prince and confronts him for some unknown reason, he kind of tells her, you have a power that my people need and I'm refusing to leave without you. And so she's faced with the choice to kind of have the life that she would be fine living in her home while hiding and doing all this stuff or find the answers about her past and going with this man. And I guess she goes with him and things go from there. So it's pretty vague, but it sounds kind of interesting and the book is beautiful. So that makes me want to read it. But yeah, this doesn't sound too bad. I'm curious how it would go. I've never read anything from this author and I've never heard about this book. So that's cool because then I can, you know, open myself up to things that I may not know about. So intrigued by this really, really stunning edition. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for this unboxing. Please let me know what your favorite item was or what you think of this book. If you've read it, I would love to know your thoughts or if you know anything about this author in general and her works. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.